Hey folks, uh, Mr. MathBlog here, and this uh, is a multi-digit numbers with regrouping. This is lesson 210 in the textbook we're using, so our common core strand is given there. And so our essential question is, how can we uh, use regrouping to multiply a two-digit number by a one-digit number? So we'll have some models here and stuff. So here's a, a problem here. Bob's motorcycle can reach uh, speeds of 60 feet per second. John can, uh, John's bike can reach a speed of 36 feet per second. How far does John's bike go in three seconds? Okay, so underline the important information. Well, okay, since the question is um, uh, how far does John's bike go in three seconds? Okay, so here's John's bike speed was 36 feet per second, and we want to know how far it goes in three seconds. Okay, is there any information that we're not going to use? And if so, cross it out. Yeah, we don't need to know anything about Bob's motorcycle. That's stuff we just don't need on that, so we can cross that out. So here we go. Well, uh, this is uh, asking us basically. We're going to multiply 36 times three. Okay. Well, let's estimate. Let's th um, let's round this. This rounds uh, 36. Um, this is the tens. So if we go to the right, this is a six. So that tells me I'm going to round this up to 40 right there. So the estimate is going to be three times 40. Okay. And since 36 is a little bit less than 40, then our answer that we're going to get is going to be a little bit less than the estimate of three times 40. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12, so put a 0 with it. So 12 with a 0 is 120. Okay, so 120. So now it's 3 times 36, so here's three groups of 36. So this is 10, 20, 30, and then 6, and then another group of 36, and another group of 36 right here. So there's 1, 2, 3 groups of 36 right there. So there's our model. All right, so now we're going to multiply the ones. Okay, so we're going to multiply the three times the six ones. Well, there's three six. There's uh, six ones. There's six ones. There's six ones. Well, um, three groups of six ones gets me eighteen of these ones right here. Okay, so um, uh, when we multiply it, uh, uh, on, when we write it down like this, we multiply thirty-six times three. I'm going to multiply three times the six ones, and that's going to get me. 18 ones. So we're going we're going to regroup the 18 ones as this 110. Notice it's over the tens column right here as this 110 and eight ones right there. Okay? And then what we're going to do is take this one group of 10 ones right here and we're going to make another long. So I'm going to make these and slide them right down into this position. It's going to make another long right there. Okay? So now I have uh, I have 3 6 9 plus one more long. There's 10 longs right there. Okay? Can you see that right there? 3 plus 3 plus 3, there's uh, 3 uh, three tens, 3 tens, 3 tens, and one more 10 gives me 10 tens, okay? So when we multiply um, uh, the 3 times the 3 tens, 3 times the 3 tens is going to get me 9 tens, and don't forget about this additional 10 from the extra ones that we had that's up there. I'll put it back up there in just a second. So 9 tens plus 1 10 gets me 10 tens right there, okay? So uh, 10 tens is going to get me this block of 100 right here. Here's 10 tens right there. So there's a block of 100 right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide these six or these eight ones down next to that right there. So there's the eight ones right there. So uh, when we multiply 3 times 36, here's my three groups of three tens plus the one is 10 tens makes this block right here and these leftover guys right here. All right, so over here, when we multiply 3 times the 3 tens, that gets me 9 tens. We add that one extra long right there, which is 10. Here's my 10 tens right there. Okay, so 10 tens plus the 8 ones right there is going to get me 108 right there. So 3 times 36 is the same as 108. Okay, and then so John's bike can go blank feet in three seconds. Okay, and then since uh, blank is close to the estimate of, well, let's see what, what the estimate was. The estimate was 120. Okay, remember three times 36 is uh, 108. So John's bike can go 108 in, uh, feet in three seconds. And since 108 is close to a, uh, the estimate of 120, then the answer is reasonable. And remember, it's a little bit less than that because 36 was less than 40. And we used 40 to estimate that. Okay, so explain how the blocks uh, show the regrouping of the 18 ones. Okay, well we started with this uh, column right here. We had the 18 ones right there and then we we put a box around 10 of the ones and so the 10 small cubes are boxed and became this extra long. So we slid it down in there and that's this guy right here. So it slid down in. So the one long is placed with the nine longs and it made the 10 longs and then eventually the 10 longs made the one block of 100 right there. All right, let's try this. Multiply 8 times 22 and we're going to 
uh, first estimate now uh, 22 is closer to 20 than it is to 30 so 8 times 2 is 16 so 16 with a 0 is 160 okay and then so let's model this right here okay so here's eight groups of 22 here's 10 20 plus 2 here's 10 20 plus 2 there's eight of them so we're doing 8 times 22 right here okay so over here we're going to multiply the the 8 times the 2 ones so the 8 times the 2 ones is going to get me 16 ones so we're going to regroup the 16 ones as 110 and 6 ones right there okay so let's go ahead and grab um, uh, 10 of these ones right here and make another long right here so I'm going to grab those 10 ones and make that additional long right there okay so step two is we're going to multiply uh, the 8 times the two tens right here so that's going to get me 16 tens 8 times 2 is 16 and this is in the tens column and we go ahead and add the regrouped 10 on top so 16 plus 1 is going to get me 17 tens so here's the 17 tens which is what this is talking about right here and if you count it up all these tens there's 17 tens right there all right, and so what we're going to do is take 10 of those 10s and make a block. Do you see that? So 10 of those 10s makes a block of 100. Let me go back. I just took 10 of them right there. 10 10s makes that block of 100 right there. So we have the 100 plus the 7 10s. And then don't forget, we got plus the 6 1s over here. So we get 176. And over here, that's what we'd get right here when we added uh, or 8 times 2 is 16 plus the 1 is 17. So plus the, uh, the 6 right there is 176. Okay? All right, so uh, 8 times 22 is 176, and since 176 is close to 160, it was a reasonable answer. All right, let's try this. Let's multiply 7 times $68. Okay, we'll do it a few ways. Let's estimate. Since 68 is closer to 70, what's 7 times 7? 7 times 7 is 49, so we're going to add a 0. So it's going to be 490. Okay, now is it going to be less? Is 7 times 68 going to be less than 770, or is it going to be more? Since 68 is less, not much less, we're going to get an answer that's pretty close to 490, but a little bit less than that, okay? All right, so let's use partial products right here. Partial products, there's a couple ways you can do it. Here's one way. We can multiply the tens right off the bat. 7 times 6 tens gets me 42 tens. So we have 42 tens. There's my zero for the tens right there. Now we can multiply the ones and put it underneath. So 7 times 8, 7 times 8 ones is going to get me 56 ones. And so it ends in the one spot right there. And then we can go ahead and add those partial products right there. So it's 476. See how 476 is a little bit less than 490? Okay, there's one way. Here's another way. Uh, we can do it by regrouping. So let's do, let's do the ones first. 7 times 8 is 56 ones. So I'm going to carry the 5 up here for the 56. So it's like 5 tens and 6 ones is 56 ones. So there it is. There's my 56. So 5 tens and 6 ones. And then we'll go ahead and multiply 7 times the uh, the six tens. So seven times six is forty-two, and we go ahead and add that five on top. So forty-two plus five is four hundred seventy-six. So these numbers match up right there. Okay, I hope that helps, and I hope that makes sense, you guys. Take care, everybody. Hope you're having a great year.